Let's talk barriers and modernization, okay? In order to compete in a changing world, it's imperative that industrial plants adopt new technologies that's going to provide that data in a different way. But it's not a simple process, right? I mean, there are barriers at play. One of the larger barriers is just not having a formal plan in place. Industrial plants are not the most nimble when it comes to upgrading technologies on a regular basis. In fact, we were doing our research, we found that many don't have that formal modernization plan in place. The mentality seems to be, if it's not broke, just leave it, right? We've all been there, we've all done that. If a plan is operational, and until existing investments are realized, it's tough to justify those upgrades. It's working now, you know, what's wrong, right? But you may not be getting efficiency out of the plant that you could be. So the first step towards that modernization is that need for a plant-wide flow assessment, okay? In order to upgrade systems, is you really need to get that big picture understanding of your plant's assets. Critical information can be obtained in a report like this, and you can look at items like obsolescent dates uh, and mitigation risks that you support your, your legacy equipment. You can think about that complete bill of materials for parts and critical assets plant-wide. You know, that gives you a really good picture there. And you can also think about ways to reduce cost by finding and reducing excess inventory. So you do all that with that assessment. The second barrier of modernization can be simply building the business case, right? One of the biggest hurdles when it comes to modernization is getting funding. Because quite frankly, think about it, some of these projects are not cheap. And manufacturers can take small steps today towards that modernization if they had a good business case, right? So that evolution of, just think about that integrated architecture is a progression, it's not a leap, right? But it doesn't happen overnight. You have to implement it properly. And if you do that, those modernization efforts will increase efficiency and thereby will give you that return that you're looking for and reduce your operating and production costs. And that's gonna help offset that initial investment. So that's kind of help building that business case that we're talking about. So in most cases, the upgrade process, it just takes time. And it can't be undertaken immediately. So you have to plan. You really have to be intentional here. So that so you may have to pull in some resources. You may have to pull in a third-party integrator. Some manufacturers may make the case for uh, modernization six months or a year in advance, just in order to get that capital necessary. So you need to be really thinking well into the future Maybe not even this year, next year, or two or three years from now. But a plan for modernization is so important when, you, when you're entering this time, particularly if you're a U.S. manufacturer these days, because we are under a lot of pressure. Obsolescence is real. The competitors are real. And you have to be on the front lines. So really, develop that good plan of modernization and move forward.